Hey guys, what's up? It's Pitiful here, and today Runespan was released, and it's a pretty good runecrafting XP method. I managed to get 67k XP in one hour of doing this, and in order to start this, you need to go to South to Drain Our Village to the Wizard Tower, go up one stair, and go to Wizard Phoenix, and one, or some of the bonuses of doing this minigame are you can get this wick or massive pouch which holds 18 essence but it needs 90 rune crafting and then there's this other small stuff which says it enhances the wicked hood I don't know what that does yet since I don't have enough points and in order to start this minigame you go ahead and enter the portal and then you want to go to high level entrance if you're high enough for crafting and you want to start off by collecting the floating essence right here and it says for this flow portal you need one air rune so go ahead and siphon this guy and you get air runes from the air wrestlings and you can get as many as you want I'm just going to get a few extra in case I need them later on and then once you do that you can go ahead and float to this portal platform now if you're high enough for crafting I really suggest using these nature s hounds so I'll show you what they do pretty much all you do is siphon them it uses your rune essences every time you get a uh, Rune, I'm just going to speed this up until he's about to die. Okay, so he should be about to die soon. And once you kill them, you'll notice your Rune Essence. You actually gain, a, it's about 50 Rune Essence each one. And that's pretty much about for killing any of these. So let's see, if I kill this Air Essence, you should get more Rune Essence. And the weaker the um, Rune people are I guess the more or the less XP they give you and you'll be a lot more accurate on hitting them and he will give me yeah another 50 renaissance and then but you never really have to worry about running out of renaissance since all you have to do is grab the floating essence but you can't just grab these because you, you can only grab them when you have under 25 so then you can go ahead and kill these nature sounds again they're really good XP and he should be about to die any second now there we go now he's going to give me some more renaissance another 50 and what you want to do once you get all like enough renaissance you can actually start using these what are they called nodes or something I think they're called nodes and pretty much they don't give you renaissance when you kill or when you um, when they disappear but they give you really good XP and it's all AFK able. So these are like one of the weaker ones, the Firestorm. I'll show you guys some better ones. And they, they also give you the runes whenever you successfully grab them. And once I complete this, once this vanishes, I'm going to go move down. And I'll show you, I'll explain the hopping these borders things, whatever, the platforms. Any second now. So yeah, air wrestlings will give you air runes, fire will give you fire, and these also give you air too, I believe. Yeah, there's a chance to give you an air rune and fire rune. Alright, water pools, you can, these also just give you water runes. It's always great to collect a different amount of every rune there is, that way you can go through the platforms easier. Thanks. Okay, this one actually has a lot of essence in it. This really just leaves you to good XP. Any second, now. okay, there we go. Then feel free to always just grab some different essences. You don't need that many, just a few. So three is good for me. And then cyclones give you air runes, they're not that great. They probably give you something else too, let's check. Um, no, just air runes, I guess. So, if you have 66 rune crafting, you want to make your way to the bottom left. And I believe you need an astral and another different rune. So whenever you see a new creature, always just feel free to to um, siphon them and just grab a few runes. So that way you can float easier or go to the next platforms. So I got a few of those. Now I'm going to grab some cosmic runes from this guy. We 
you. I always check your surroundings. And once the wizard pops up, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It should happen in a few minutes or so. It's pretty much random. It's actually really good XP. Okay, so I have a few cosmic runes. I'm going to go down here, this path. You can see there's a bunch of these different platforms with different varieties of es es essence people. I don't know, S hounds. Oh, and a rock fragment will give you earth runes as well. So I'm just collecting runes of every kind right now. That's good enough. I don't need that many chaos runes. Got a few earth runes, that should be good. And I'll show you the whole point. I'm just trying to advance to the next level and show you guys the basics. There's a little lag, you don't know what happened there. Let's go ahead and make your way down. Okay, and you want to get to the arrow on the mini map if you have enough 66 room crafting. So once you've collected all your runes you need, and if you're 66 rune crafting, you can go ahead and climb up this bone ladder to the more advanced floor. So go ahead and climb up here. And you can see there's a lot harder bosses. Now there are these death S wreath S wreaths and blood which give you like blood runes. I really do not suggest trying these because look how many times you fail. Maybe if you're like a really high rune crafting level, but it is not worth the XP per hour here just trying to get these because you fail a lot in them. They do give you some good points when you ever succeed though. And so I'm, I only grabbed four of them. That should be good for him. And what you want to do is look for a big room. Let's go ahead and make your way. Oh, and kill these, start killing these nature S hounds once you're on the final floor. Because you need to start collecting these rune essences, and once you kill these, they'll give you rune essence. So I'll go ahead and speed up a few. Oh, I'll kill a few of these things for rune essence, and then I'll continue with the video. So I'm about to get another more essence from him. He has 50 essence, and you can kill these water esslings. They're a lot faster to kill, but they're not as good XP. But if you're just going for rune essence so you can AFK later on, then it's definitely worth it. And as you can see, there's this vine where you can siphon this. This is what I usually do here. Any second now. Kill this water wrestling. There we go. So now I should have 110 essence. Yeah, there we go. I suggest killing your sit what is it called? Siphoning these vines and fireballs. I'll show you why in a second. Because if you look at this, 30 XP, 30 XP is really consistent XP. It's a lot faster than going for some of these higher, like this death S wreath, which they give you more XP, but it's a lot less common to actually succeed on siphoning from them. I found out, yeah, I actually calculated it. I was getting about 30 to 40 K XP per hour trying for like the death and blood people. But if you go for like the easier stuff, like the nature s hounds and like the vines and fireballs, and it's actually 60 to 70k XP per hour. So once I kill this, I'm going to go ahead and kill the nature s hound again. So I can get some more renaissance. I'll speed that up really quick. There you go. So I got him down. And now, since you don't really see any of these vines anymore, they have a really slow respawn. Go ahead and feel free to move rooms. Uh, yeah, rooms here, platforms. You can always look for these different ones. And this one, for example. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Once you see your chat box, you can say where it says you can hear a wizard calling for your help. This is where you start looking around for a blue wizard or a yellow wizard. You're looking for the yellow one, and if you find the blue wizards, they'll actually help you find them. I always suggest, uh, I need a elemental rune, let me check if there's one in here. I'm just going to skip paths. So yeah, you're always looking for the blue wizard, right here, here's what I'm talking about for example, here's the blue wizard. 
Once you talk to him, uh, right here. Can you help me find the wizard in yellow? Oh, he's teleported away. Oh, there we go. So it still works. So then he points you to the right direction. Oh, I guess he was in the same room I was just in. So once he's there, it points you to the yellow wizard. Always go to these wizards because they give you some really great XP. So you want to talk to him. And he actually wants about 10 runes, I believe. Let's go ahead and give him some runes. And that's 2.3k XP. I believe if you give him better runes, then it gives you more XP. And so it's pretty much like the talent scouts at agility and all that stuff. Where if you're just training the skill, then they'll pop up and give you pretty much free XP. That's pretty much all there is to this. So go ahead and... I'll just fast forward this. I'm going to go do some more vines. This is the really great XP. And then you can also go for the firestorm, or yeah, the firestorms. They're about 23 XP. Or sometimes if you get the double runes, then they give you 41 XP. And fireballs are actually about 30 something XP. So, yeah, 35 XP. They're actually faster than the firestorms. But if there's nothing in the room, I suggest going for the firestorms as well. So, I'm not actually going to kill this. So, I'm just going to go show you guys what else you could do here. If you're ever running low on these rune essence and you don't feel like killing the Esslings and all that stuff, you can, once you're under 25 rune essence, you can't always just collect the free floating essence. I don't think they go away, but I find it more afk just to kill these things and get the essence from them and then go to the fireballs and all that stuff. And that's really all there is to this minigame recrafting, I guess. I don't know if it's minigame or what, but... That's pretty much all I find to it. It's really great XP. 55 to 70k XP per hour at my runecrafting level. As long as you stick with the small stuff like fireballs, vines, firestorms. And there are some other good ones that I suggest you do. Like the... Oh, I have no clue what it's called. I think it's like the rotten one. It's also really great XP. And so that's all that there is to this really. Just don't do like the... Like the death and blood S hounds and stuff like that. Because they take a lot longer to kill and it's a lot less XP per hour. As long as you stick to this guide. Oh, that's a nice lag. There we go. So as long as you stick to these small ones, you should be getting some great XP. And feel free to comment on this video if you have any questions. I can always help you out. And that should be the end of this. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you're not already. Bye.